you know when a person is in a in a dire in desperation like this canaanite woman or street for a phoenician woman in the bible and uh, she came to jesus um when to and she just fell at the feet of jesus uh, this is in Ver mark chapter 7 okay verse verse 24 onwards and from there jesus arose and went away to the region of tyre and sidon and he entered a house and did not want anyone to know yet he could not be hidden <laughs> jesus wanted to hide from everybody else he did a rest he just healed so many people but interestingly this phoenician uh, or canaanite woman is not a jewish person it's gentile and this area is largely gentile it's very much in opposition to to the lord's people for a long time and, and here it goes verse 25 but immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet now the woman was a gentile as three phoenician or canaanite by birth and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter okay so this woman came and begging jesus to cast the demon out of her daughter she loves her daughter don't you love your children and now her children are suffering um being tormented by this demonic spirit but jesus said to her verse 27 some astounding verse here jesus said let the children be fed first for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Wow, how demeaning this is for, uh, for Jesus to say that. Now, the culture at that time is Jewish people look down upon the, uh, the Gentiles. And there is a, so almost a custom that says they are like dogs, you know, unclean. But at least ESV study Bible is telling me that uh, Jesus used not the dog, dog word, but he used the word little dog. It's like a pet dog, at least. But anyhow, to us, it's like real shocking, right? So why did Jesus say that? Let the children be fed first, not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. So, well, the children means the children of Israel. Jesus sent first to the children of Israel and then to the Gentiles. See, Jesus tried to teach the disciples that he's coming to the Gentiles. You know, it's back to back miracles. A lot of miracles, uh, a lot of miracles for the Gentiles too. So, you know, so he, Jesus is really trying to demonstrate a point at that, at that thing. So, so, but when I'm, if Jesus says it's not right to give the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. What a powerful statement. Look at that. That woman, it's something else, you know. She, 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 she first of all came in and said, uh, you know, that begged Jesus to come and said, and then she said, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. She was not offended. She continued to press in. You know, when she, you were, she's desperate enough to even want the crumbs on the table, she did not find that remark or reply from Jesus as insinuating or condescending or offending even. You know what? When you are in the spirit of being overwhelmed by the greatness of who jesus is and your desperation this is what you will say that's right when you come to god you are desperate if you, if god give you have to have a hard time okay seemingly a hard time jesus is really testing her but we we find too we, we find it hard to accept some things we're like lord why don't you just make it easy for me no Sometimes it's really hard, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. He continues to test the mold you and shape you. If you get everything what you want quite instantly, quite quickly, 
there's no more character building anymore. You know, it's you could be completely ruined and spoiled brat. But anyhow, coming back to this Phoenician woman, she's she's absolutely astounding. First, she's not a Jewish person, woman, and uh, she's a Gentile looked down by by the uh, by the by the Jews to begin with. And then when Jesus said that to the dogs, she said even the dogs eat the crumbs. You know, that's, it's only possible that two factors, two things got to happen. One is you are desperate. Okay, that's given. But even if you are desperate, the second factor I want to say is, you know the greatness of God. Hallelujah. You know He can do it. Only He. You really believe in Him. The second one. To me, that's even more important. Because once you know that He really, really is God and He's the Son of David. He's the Messiah. He, she proclaimed that before Peter confessed it. Um, when, when, when did you know that? You are willing. You are willing to be insulted and demeaning way. But you're going to press in. Okay. Only when these two things happen together, you're going you're gonna to see um, marvelous things happening. This is exactly... That's why Jesus said, for this statement, you may go your way. The demons left your daughter. And Mark 11 says, uh, for, for your faith, the demon has left. You know, uh, Dr. Duncan has said that this is the only places that Jesus cast out demon without, t without speaking to the demonized person. And... Uh, you know, he, he, he didn't even command the, the demon to get, get lost. Uh, he just proclaimed it. The demon has left. Just like that. And we, nobody knows where the daughter is. Maybe a few miles away, you know. Whatever the case may be, immediately, immediately she was set free. Check that out. And she went back. To, she went home and found the child lying in bed. And the demon gone. So I want to really exhort everybody. Two things you need to have in life to make really to see great things happen in life. Number one is you're really hungry for God. You really are desperate. You really want God. See, Jesus always says, seek me with all your heart and you'll find. He never says, seek when you can, you'll find me. No, seek with all your heart. He wants to put some work in it to show that you're really authentically wanting it. Okay. The second thing is, would you be able to take offenses? You know, offense. You should be offended or discouraged or distracted. You need that, that to, to see the greatness of Jesus to overcome that. Once you are convinced and know in your heart the greatness of God, you're going to go all the way now. Nothing's going to stop you. And this is exactly what happened to, uh, to her. She's got seen the greatness of God plus uh, the, the really hard hungers and wanting to see the desperation heart, wanting to see God moves and happen. And these two things combined together. Jesus said, woman, your faith, uh, for your statement, you may go now. Your, the demon has left your daughter. Or oh, your faith, by your faith, the demon has left your daughter. Amen.